Welcome to Contact. We're continuing our new series today titled Forge Ahead, and today's message is Peter's boat. Now, there are several accounts in the New Testament where Jesus used Peter's boat for ministry. Um, let's talk a little bit more about that. Okay, just very briefly, the, Peter's boat represented his life um, lifestyle, his uh, his means of of uh, uh, living. Okay, so for uh, Jesus to use his boat, it, the equivalent with us is whether or not God can step into our lives and use our life like a tool to reach people. That means, are you available? That's, that's it, right, <laughs> yeah, with no conditions. You know? Well, and that's why we call him Lord. Yeah. Because he can come to us and he can ask us to do things for him. Yeah. So this is a great, great message. If that's something you're longing to do is, God, what's your will for my life? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Camp Meeting 2018 Stormproof is just around the corner. Get equipped and armored with speakers from across the nation starting October 7th through the 12th at 10.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. For more information or to find nearby hotels, visit our website at faithlandmarks.org or call our hotline at 804-515-5860. Hey kids, are you ready to rock out with Kids Town? Join us for an awesome, fun-filled time in fellowship and the Word at Kids Rock Camp Meeting 2018 at Faith Landmarks Ministries. It all begins on Sunday, October 7th with our annual Kids Town County Fair. Children will also have fun every day of the week with Ezekiel, Kyra, and the Donut Man. It all starts October 7th, Sunday through Monday at Faith Landmarks Ministries. Camp Meeting 2018 Stormproof will be a powerful and anointed event. You can relive the messages, equip yourself in the Word, and experience the conference again and again with our special Camp Meeting 2018 product package. Available in CD, DVD, or USB flash drive, you can watch or listen to your favorite messages whenever you want. Order today and choose from a variety of Camp Meeting 2018 products. Our CD package is available for $35, DVD package $50. Our CD DVD combo package is available for only $75. Stormproof flash drives with all video and audio recordings are available for $50. And don't forget, you can purchase our special Stormproof t-shirt for only $10 while supplies last. Don't miss out on this great value. To order, call 1-866-FAITH-42 or visit our website at faithlandmarks.org. Okay, Luke chapter uh, 5, verse 1 says, It came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, Jesus in his earthly ministry, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret, that's also the Sea of Galilee, the Lake of Galilee, it's called the lake in some places, are you there? He saw two ships, the crowd is growing bigger and bigger, it was called a press, they were pressing on him. And pushing him, you know, every inch that he gave up, he was getting closer to the water. Okay, so they pushed him right up against the water. He saw two sh ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them, and they were washing their nets. This would be over in the shallow part. He entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's. There it is, that's Peter's boat. Entered into one of the ships, which, which was Simon's, and prayed him, asked him, that he would thrust out a little from the land, he sat down and taught the people out of the ship, the boat. Are you there? So he was able to address the people. He, he preached the message. Glory to God. The recording of such is right there in your Bible. Amen. God is good. So then he turned around to Peter, verse 4, when he had left speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught or for a load of fish. Let's, Peter, let's go fishing. Okay. 
Now, we're, just stop there for a moment. You should understand. Uh, in fact, you could just turn right over to the uh, book of Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. It says, for God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed toward his name in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. Okay, so talking to you, God actually considers it an obligation. When you serve him, it obligates him to reciprocate to you. Now, you might not be used to it. With people, you know, that happens all the time. You, you get obligated, you feel obligated or whatever. People that still have integrity respond to the obligation. Okay? Not, not, not all people are that way these days. Come on now. But God is integrity. So uh, you might not be used to it, but when God becomes obligated to you, you need to understand he is going to pay up. The question is, are you obligating him? How many of you understand what that means, obligated? Okay. How many of you are serving him in such a way that he accepts your service and is thereby obligated to you? That's what this verse in Hebrews is all about. God is not unrighteous. See, an unrighteous person saying, oh, you should have done it for free anyway. But God's not like that. He, you know, he doesn't. Work for free and doesn't expect you to work for free. And he's the one who pays you back. Come on, can you say amen? Hallelujah. So this is what happened with Peter. Now, we're, we're just going to kind of put ourselves in the middle of this. this. This is Peter's boat, okay? But this is also your life, okay? Okay? Now, with Peter, it involved his livelihood. Actually, the boat was his livelihood. Okay? And you remember, God called Peter, actually called him away from the boat. And Peter had a family, a wife, a house, all there in Capernaum. But Jesus called Peter away to serve him. So this scene that we're seeing here is part of the way that God was able to pay Peter back. So this boat represents your life in this message. So point being is that when Jesus needed something from Peter... Peter gave him access to it. Jesus was able to use Peter's boat. Okay, well, how about you? Can he use you? You have to answer the question. How available are you? So Peter, you know, he worked all night didn't catch anything, which I'm sure they were kind of grousing about. But they're over there in the shallows washing their nets. And as soon as Jesus beckoned and asked for his, the use of his boat, he did not deny him. Jesus steps into the boat, pushes out a little ways from the land, able to complete his ministry. Then he turns to Peter and says, okay, Peter, let's go fishing. This is the obligation that God is going to pay up on. He is not unrighteous to forget. How many of you are there? I'm telling you, you might not be used to people that have integrity, but when it's God, he's going to be looking for a way to pay the obligation. Now, this is the reason why it's important for believers to believe in being blessed because he's actually looking for a way 
to de-obligate himself because he's righteous. So this is what happened with Peter. Okay, Peter, let's launch out into the deep. Peter uh, protested a bit. He said, well, master, we've been fishing all night. We, we didn't catch anything. This verse five, master, we toiled all night, have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. So if anybody's going to look bad, it's going to be you. But I, I'll do it if you want me to. Let's push out. And they pushed out a little bit from the land, got the net all ready, dropped it in. I will let down the net when he had done this. He enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net broke. So what Peter couldn't do in an all night event, Jesus was able to do on a bright sunny day where the fish could see the net you know anything about fishing. They could see the boat. They could probably see Peter. They could see the net. But when Jesus was behind it, there it is. They caught a net full of fish. All right, now put yourself there. Hallelujah. God is good. There's more than one way to do this. Like we read in, in the book of Hebrews, if, if you just sow your, your love and service, your labor, God is obligated then to bless you in return. He goes on record to say specifically, if it's money or, or something like that that you've sown, then he, he obligates himself to pay you back. Are you there? So people talk about contracts. I got a contract with, you know, big company or whether they're going to pay me. Okay, that, 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 that does happen and it can be true, but it can also be not true. Because there's nothing that man does that doesn't eventually end up in failure. So trusting in the world system is somehow, in some way, eventually going to end up on the rocks. Come on now, are you out there? So what, what the whole thing that Jesus was showing, look, you have a covenant with God. He's the creator of all things. Why would you engage and trust man when you can engage and trust God. Well, I didn't know that God would allow me and him to work together. All right, so this is a story. Jesus needed something. You know, the day that this happened, uh, you know, Jesus could have maybe done it another way. Maybe, I don't know. But God does come at a place where he needs people to work with him. Are you out there? Hallelujah. So this is what happened with Peter. Peter was just standing over there. He wasn't even paying any attention. And he'd been up all night fishing. He was, like I said, he was probably grumbling and grousing and cleaning his net but when God called on him, he responded favorably. How about you? It's awfully quiet in this Christian house. Can God call on you? Oh, well, I, I, I don't have any money. That's the reason why Jesus told the story about the widow's might. Oh, come on now. He gives seed to the sower. The, it's, see, it's not about money. It's about you. Are you available? Can God call on you? Hallelujah. Can he ask you 
to get involved. If you, do, like Peter, if you do that, God obligates himself. He, he, he's calling you into a place to obligate himself to you. See, this is not the only place that this scene occurs in the Bible, but this is the way it works. God called us into his purpose and the provision of the covenant is that he has sworn in covenant that he will keep his word towards you. So he draws us in to the covenant for the purpose of blessing us by involving us. Are you out there? Hallelujah. Now remembering, you know, it, it's like Peter, you know, he, was, he was demonstrating the failure of his own efforts, you know, trusting in man's ability, washing the nets, got nothing that night. He was demonstrating failure. It was plain for everybody to see. He was on the side, you know, out in the open so everybody could see they had failed. Their families were standing there watching. Oh, go ahead and say amen. amen. And all the people knew what it meant for a fisherman to go fishing and catch nothing and come back with nothing. It meant that they were going to be hungry that night. When he had done this, he enclosed, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net broke. They beckoned unto their partners, their friends that were standing around, which were in the other ship that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. Abundance. That's what that's telling you is abundance. So God paid back abundance. Now this is not the only time that Peter went fishing uh, with Jesus. It's actually three times altogether. Hallelujah. And each time it was a miracle. So inviting us into a participatory position with him is what this is all about. God wants you to work with him. Amen. So I'm going to ask you, if you would, please, to go over to 2 Corinthians chapter 9. There's an entire section of the New Testament on giving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's nobody that can give a guarantee that's ironclad but God. Hey, even if they're well intended, that's not even the point. There's a lack of ability. Man does not have control. He does not have final control over the physical world. So even at his best... The best he can possibly do, there's still a possibility of failure. But with God, because he owns all things, created all things, is all things, because God is God, and when he makes a promise, God promises money, I'm going to read one to you. Yeah, he promises money. That, that's, that's what this was with, with Jesus and Peter. God promises money. Yes, he does. He does. Ooh, how many of you are willing to hear a promise from God about money? Okay. Well, here it is in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9. I, I'm actually going to read two verses to you. Verse 7 it says, Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give. Not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able, see that's the difference between God and man. Man is not able. God is able to make all grace, a supernatural ability. God is able to make all supernatural ability to abound toward you. That you always, notice that, having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Now, where have you ever read anything like that from a man? 
ironclad, cannot fail, all things, all the time, every time, always. You can't get, that won't come out of a person's mouth because they're not able. But God is able. And if you take the invitation, just like Peter, if you take the invitation to get involved with him, then you involve yourself in that promise. If you stand back, you know, I'm sure there was plenty of people standing around watching this whole thing that day. You know, the other boat, the other people that were involved, uh, they, they were pulled in. Glory to God, this happens a lot of times in Christian circles. There's people that are believing, and then there's people that are pulled in to a place of blessing by other people's believing. Now we can't, you know, there's only a certain amount of believing we can do for each other. But even if you're just standing around like they were that day, you're going to get in on something good. This is the way it is in church. There's people just standing around and they get in on the blessing because it's being generated by other people. Oh, I'm glad I came to church today. Going to ask you to stand up. Welcome back. Again, it's just wonderful that you're with us today. So now you have the story of how God uh, moves uh, to bless people when we allow him into our lives to use us or use what we have. Um, it's really all about tools. So a, a verse that we quoted there, Hebrews chapter 6, uh, verse 10, God is not unrighteous to forget your work, your labor of love that you've shown to his name and his saints. Uh, and then the, the bottom line of that is, is that when he's righteous over our service, that's another way of saying he returns benefit back to us. Right. He, God always pays us back with way more than what our investment was to begin with. Yeah. You know, and the other thing that I really liked you pointed out is that whatever God asks us to do, it's his responsibility to give us the provision that we need in order to accomplish what he's asked us to do. So a lot of time, you know, people think, well, God asks impossible things of us, you know, but no, he doesn't. You know, if you really know him, if it's, he, if, if it's him asking you and him guiding you, he's obligated yeah. to provide what you need. Yeah, the he's, guidance. he's the one that has to bring it to It's pass. his idea to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> right, so yeah. just like Peter's boat. Yeah. And then one time he asked Peter to go fishing to pay taxes. Yeah. And the provision was there. You know, God wants us to trust him and know that he is able. Yeah. That he can bring it to pass. He's more than able yeah. to supply all of our needs and to pay us back and make it up to us. Yeah. So, um, it's yeah, not so a problem. It, it always pays to serve God. It, always. Do, it doesn't cost you. It, Amen. It, it pays you. Yeah. So I'm really excited. You know, people are going to have an opportunity this year again as we prepare for our camp meeting. Our theme this year is storm proof. So, uh, and we're going to be celebrating Jesus, that he's our refuge and stronghold against the storms of life and times of trouble. And we've got a great lineup of guests this year. Darling Bishop, Joseph Garlington, Bill Winston, Sammy Rodriguez, Dr. James Davis and Jesse Duplantis. So we want you to join us for this powerful time in the presence of God. Right. And also, uh, we've got information coming to you across the bottom of your screen on how uh, you can sow back into Faith Landmarks Ministries. Now, uh, we're a ministry uh, uh, organization that reaches people around the world uh, through the, the preaching of the gospel. Uh, so you can sow financial seed into this ministry and uh, God will bless and spread, use your seed to spread the gospel around the world. So contact.tv and Faith Landmarks Ministries are both good ground. Uh, you can find uh, everything that you need to know about this ministry by visiting our website, contact.tv. Just follow the links. You can also sow a seed by just clicking on the Give tab. We have a new way, which is by texting. And again, the information at the bottom of the screen will give you details about how 
you can uh, really just from your phone you can donate uh, into reaching people with the gospel. So you can be a part of this, you can be on board with what we're doing and uh, help to get the gospel out around the world. So here's a look at some of the things that are coming. Camp Meeting 2018 Stormproof is just around the corner. Get equipped and armored with speakers from across the nation starting October 7th through the 12th at 10.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. For more information or to find nearby hotels, visit our website at faithlandmarks.org or call our hotline at 804-515-5860. Hey kids, are you ready to rock out with Kids Town? Join us for an awesome, fun-filled time in fellowship and the Word at Kids Rock Camp Meeting 2018 at Faith Landmarks Ministries. It all begins on Sunday, October 7th with our annual Kids Town County Fair. Children will also have fun every day of the week with Ezekiel, Kyra, and the Donut Man. It all starts October 7th, Sunday through Monday at Faith Landmarks Ministries. Camp Meeting 2018 Stormproof will be a powerful and anointed event. You can relive the messages, equip yourself in the Word, and experience the conference again and again with our special Camp Meeting 2018 product package. Available in CD, DVD, or USB flash drive, you can watch or listen to your favorite messages whenever you want. Order today and choose from a variety of Camp Meeting 2018 products. Our CD package is available for $35, DVD package $50. Our CD DVD combo package is available for only $75. Stormproof flash drives with all video and audio recordings are available for $50. And don't forget, you can purchase our special Stormproof t-shirt for only $10 while supplies last. Don't miss out on this great value. To order, call 1-866-FAITH-42 or visit our website at faithlandmarks.org. We want to thank you for joining us today. We believe the word has been sown in your heart and will continue to propel you through a bright future in him. But before we go, we'd like to invite you to again to join our camp meeting 2018 right here at Faith Landmarks. This is going to be a powerful time in the word and you don't want to miss a single service. For some reason, if you can't join us in person, check out our website where you'll find links to download or stream other broadcasts and services. God bless you and we'll see you next time on Contact.